In this video, I'll show you how I created this beautiful edit in Ibis Paint X. By the way, if you need the stock images and the PSD file, check the link in the description. But make sure to watch the full video to get the password. Here we are in Ibis Paint X. Let's start by adding our model to the canvas. Now, we need to remove the background. Some people think there's a magic brush that just removes the background. But actually, I've already done that. I've added two versions of the model, one with the background and one without. Now, I'll remove the version with the background and we get a result like this. If you want to learn how I cut out my images, check the links in the description for a full tutorial. Next, let's add this wall image so it looks like she's leaning against it. I'll place it at the bottom like this. The wall looks flat without any shadows. So let's fix that. I'm creating a new layer and clipping it to the wall layer. I'll be using the airbrush for this. By the way, if you want my brush settings, the link is in the description. Now, I'll paint some basic shadows, nothing too crazy. For the top part, I'm adding shadows like this to create the illusion of a bend. Always remember to adjust the opacity. I'm also creating a new layer, changing the blending mode from normal to overlay and painting additional shadows on top. If we look closely, since she's leaning against the wall, we need to paint shadows there too. The light source is coming from this direction. So I'll create a new clipped layer and use the same airbrush to paint shadows. First, paint shadows near the bottom and where the model touches the wall since no light reaches those areas. Then, add some cast shadows like this. You can really see the difference now. Let's add some soft shadows on her as well nice and subtle. Don't forget to adjust the opacity afterward. Now, I was curious how it would look if we added this building in the background. I'm going to duplicate it and place it on both sides. One in the back, slightly smaller. After making a few adjustments, we get something like this. But right now, there's no depth between the buildings. So let's fix that by adding a blur filter to the smaller building to make it look like it's farther away. I think this looks okay for now. Let's fix these cable lines. They look really bad. I'm creating a new layer and selecting the felt tip pen. Then, I'll go to the shape settings and change it to beads. I'm enabling the bezier curve and starting to redraw the lines. I'll adjust their thickness as needed. I'll follow the same method to fix the rest of the lines. By the way, please support the channel by liking the video and watching it all the way through. My channel isn't monetized yet because I haven't completed the required watch hours. So please watch the full video and share the link with your editor friends. If you guys support the channel, I'm planning to host more editing competitions and giveaways. So don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Also make sure to turn on all notifications. Now, as you can see, the lighting doesn't look quite right. So let's add some shadows to the buildings to give them more depth and life. Let's drop in this beautiful sky background. The clouds look stunning, don't they? To fill out the scene, I'm adding some trees in the background. Since the house is blurred, we need to apply the same blur to the trees, so it maintains the depth. I'll add another tree on this side as well. Not too large, just the top part. And blur it to match the distance. Next, let's add similar trees in the foreground like this. 
I have some ideas for them later. I think this looks good for now. Perfect. Now we've got a nice background. Can you believe we created it from scratch? Anyway, let's fix her hair. I'm selecting the airbrush and making the brush size really small. Then I'm enabling force fade and stabilizer. Now, I'll select the hair color and gently paint the strands, taking my time to recreate the flowing hair in the wind. Since the light is partially blocking the building, let's add some shadow. I'll duplicate the tree image, apply alpha lock and paint it black. Then, I'll clip it to the building layer and position it like this. Adjust the opacity and apply a blur filter. Finally, let's paint some basic shadows on her body, mainly in the areas where the light wouldn't naturally reach. I'm really happy with how adding these small details makes the edit look beautiful. Now, I was thinking, what if we add some leaves flying in the wind? For that, we've got this leaf brush. Let's select it and pick a color sample from the tree. Then, slowly start painting the leaves like this. Make sure the leaves in the background are smaller compared to the ones we paint in the foreground. Now, let's add some motion blur to the leaves in the foreground to show their movement through the air. Isn't it looking freaking perfect? Next, let's add some highlights on her arms, just a touch, nice and subtle. And if you want a tutorial on how I do highlights and rim lights, check the link in the description. That's it guys, we're all done here. Just a bit of color grading in Lightroom and it's finished. Here's the final result. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your editor friends. Until then, I'll see you in another video. Bye.